This is the heart section of the circulatory system. So, Roman, Roman numeral number three is the right atrium. Then the right ventricle is number four. And located between that is the tricuspid valve, F. The other side, you have the left atrium, Roman numeral one and the left ventricle, Roman numeral two. And located between that is the mitral valve, G. You have the pulmonary, vein, pulmonary arteries that go to the heart, splits into left branches and right branches. The superior vena cava, A, and the inferior vena cava, D, I'm oh, sorry, B. And you have the aorta, ascending aorta is number one. The aortic arch is three, and four is the descending aorta. You also have R, which are the pulmonary veins that also go to the lungs. This section right here is the brachiocephalic, which leads up to the right common cartoid artery and the right subclavian artery. This next section is number seven, the left common cartoid artery. And then this next one here is the left subclavian artery, which becomes number 16, the auxiliary artery, and then 17, the brachial artery. Goes down the arm. Number 18, the superior ulna collateral artery, and on the lateral side, the deep brachial branch. Then at the elbow, it's number 19, the radial artery, and on the medial side is the ulnar artery. In the palmar region, you have the superficial palmar arch, and then the digital arteries that run into the fingers. We're going to continue with the arteries, um, starting with the left common cartoid artery, which goes up. And then you have number eight, the external cartoid and that branches up to become number 10, the facial artery. And it keeps going up to become the number 11, the maxillary artery, 13, transverse facial artery, number 12, the occipital artery. And right here is the superficial temporal artery and it's unlabeled. Then we move down starting with the descending aorta which goes behind the heart comes out here you have the celiac artery, number 23, it's right there. You also have the left gastric artery, number 24, which is right here, 24. And the splenic artery, 25.
The common hepatic artery is located to the right of the celiac artery and it runs to the liver. The gastroduodenal artery is this stump right here. Superior mesenteric, number 26. is this one right here, this stump. And then the right and left renal cavities, renal arteries, number 27, the left side. And then this inferior mesenteric artery, number 28. The, the aorta branches off into the common iliac arteries. Number 31 is the internal iliac. Number 29 is the medial sacral artery. 30 is the external iliac artery, the lateral femoral circumflex in here, number 32, and the medial femoral circumflex is number 34. There's the deep femoral artery, number 35. And the descending genicular is number 36. Which is so oh, here, 36, descending genicular. And also have the femoral artery back up here, number 33 goes down the leg and the popliteal behind the knee is number 40. You have the lateral superior geniculate artery and the medial superior geniculate artery. Thirty-seven. The lateral inferior geniculate artery, thirty-eight, and the medial inferior geniculate artery, which is unlabeled. Also unlabeled is the anterior tibial, which runs down the front side of the leg and becomes number 44, the dorsal pedis artery, you have number 42, the posterior tibial, which divides into the peroneal artery, which is unlabeled, number 41, the nutrient artery, 43, the communicating branch. Then there's the dorsal, dorsal pedis, dorsal pedis artery, which branches or which forms a loop to become number 46. The arcuate artery, and that branches off dorsal, dorsal metatarsal arteries, and then dorsal digital arteries in the toes.